This is the mass spectrum of pentane. Pentane is only one molecule, so why are there so many peaks? To understand this, we need to describe what happens to an organic compound in a mass spectrometer, explain what is meant by the terms molecular ion and fragmentation, and identify the molecular ion and fragmentation peaks in a mass spectrum. When an organic compound is injected into a mass spectrometer, it enters the ionization chamber. Here, the molecules are bombarded with electrons and are ionized. The positively charged ions are then accelerated by an electrical field. Lighter ions and those with a higher charge move more quickly than heavier ions and those with a lower charge, so reach the detector earlier. The output is presented as a graph of relative abundance against the mass-to-charge ratio. Most ions usually only have a plus one charge, so the mass to charge ratio is usually equal to the mass. When a molecule such as propane is ionized in the mass spectrometer, a molecular ion is formed. But this isn't very stable, so it breaks down into smaller ions. These fragments are lighter than the molecular ion, so they travel to the detector more quickly. Smaller fragments are detected first, then larger fragments, and finally the molecular ion. All of the ions arriving at the detector contribute to the peaks on the mass spectrum, providing information about the structure of the compound. Let's take a closer look at the mass spectrum of pentane. This peak is the molecular ion peak. The molecular ion for pentane has a mass of 72, the same as the relative formula mass of pentane. Let's take a look at the tallest peak next. If we examine the pentane molecule, we can work out which bond could have broken to create the fragment causing this peak. Could this splitting have produced a peak at 43? No because the butyl fragment has a mass of 57 and the methyl fragment has a mass of 15. What if the pentane molecule splits like this? The propyl fragment has a mass of 43 and the ethyl fragment has a mass of 29. So the peak at mass 43 is caused by propyl ions. Ethyl ions produced by a similar splitting pattern also explain this peak at mass 29. We've already seen how the propane molecule could split to produce these fragment peaks. The peak at mass 57 is caused by the butyl fragment and that at mass 15 is caused by the methyl fragment. So, the mass spectrum of an organic compound contains many peaks. If you don't know the structure of the compound, you can play detective to work it out. First, you can find the relative formula mass of the compound by identifying the molecular ion peak on the right-hand side. You can then work out which fragments could have caused the peaks at the different mass charge ratios. Finally, you can combine this information to work out the structure of the compound.